Do you want to smell good all summer long? Well, I have some of what I consider to be the best smelling perfumes of all time. These summer fragrances all have scents that will bring you those carefree summer vibes. I will also give you a look at how I organize my perfume collection. So if you are wanting ideas for your fragrance storage or if you're looking for a signature summertime scent or maybe you just want some ideas for a new summer perfume to add to your collection then keep watching welcome to artsy cupcake i love bringing creativity into every part of life i hop onto youtube every week where i share creative inspiration to make your life more creative too i share fun fashion lookbooks home DIYs and recipe ideas with some cupcakes in there, my personal favorite food. So if you like cupcakes and all those other fun things too, then please consider subscribing because it really helps my channel out. Okay, let's start with a look at my perfume collection. I have it towards the back of my closet on an empty shelf. I have a few little trays to organize groups of things together and the trays just give the space a cleaner look. I have a few little hair clips here and my Apple Watch band. I have the My Burberry scent, Tiffany and Kate Spade's Walk on Air. A couple roller balls by the Pacifica brand in there and a body spray from Bath & Body Works. I did a DIY video to make your own floral wall art in case you wanna check that out. But I just love how this decor dresses up my perfume collection here. I have a few small roller balls here in this tray and I will be going into detail on a few of those that have made it onto the summer scent favorites list. I have quite a few samples and small bottles here and there because I really like to try before I buy because I like to invest in these samplers before getting a large bottle since perfume is so expensive. This is actually a towel holder, but I use it to display my favorite necklaces. I think it just looks really good here. Then I have this Erin sampler. I really love the Erin scents and I wanted to try a few before investing in a full size bottle and I will go into a few of those a little more later in this video. Okay, let's get right into these recommendations I have for you for the best summer scents. When I think of summer, I think of driving my car with the top down, tropical vacations, time by the pool with a fruity drink in hand fresh clean beach towels and summer florals. So what better way to celebrate summer than by embracing these types of scents in an understated way, of course. My first go-to for summer is Kate Spade Walk on Air. The light blue shade of this bottle is so pretty and I love the black plastic bow on the top. This perfume is sweet and light, but not overly sweet because the layers of floral deepen the scent. It has Lily of the Valley, which is the flower of happiness and joy, magnolia, violet, and white iris. I would describe it as graceful, elegant, and it's just a very fresh scent. Sometimes floral scents can be too heavy, but this one is really light, which makes it perfect for summer. Another brand I really love is the Nest Scents. I have several of these and I have them in the roller balls, but I picked the two that I felt were more appropriate for summer. And if you don't want something floral or sweet and you want something a little bit more rich, then these are for you. These two are warm and spicy in case that's what you think of when you think of summer. Indigo has a yummy spicy scent to it. The key notes are bergamot, Moroccan tea, cardamom, and wild fig. Midnight Floor is a little more intense than indigo. It has a woodsy scent with patchouli and black amber and then some jasmine and vanilla orchid in there. This one is definitely more bold. It's probably the most bold perfume I'm going to show you today, but it's really unique and it smells really good. 
these nest scents really last a long time on the skin, especially that midnight floor. Sometimes I'll still be able to smell it like on my wrist the next day. So a little bit of these nest scents, they really go a long way. Let's move on to something a little lighter. Some people love vanilla scents and others hate them and think they're way too sweet. I personally, I just love sweet vanilla scents, but I have found a couple toned down versions of vanilla with the La Vanilla brand. And what I love about La Vanilla is that they focus on fresh and pure ingredients. So if you're looking for, say, a more natural scent and fewer chemicals, then this one would be for you. They replace those harsh chemicals that are usually found in perfumes with natural products like antioxidants and vitamins and natural oils. So they're really safe and non-toxic and they're not irritating. So these are really good if you have really sensitive skin too. They have a pure vanilla scent, but the vanilla coconut and vanilla grapefruit are perfect for summer in my opinion. They break up that sugary sweetness of vanilla and make it lighter and fresher and more tropical. La Vanilla also makes natural deodorants and body butters, which I have tried and I love those too. So check those out if you're into vanilla scents. Next up is the Pacifica brand. I have two favorites here. They are very sweet and very tropical. You will feel like you're on vacation on the beach putting on some yummy smelling sunscreen and holding a pina colada. These are just super fun scents if you don't want anything that's too serious or mysterious. These are just right out there saying summer is fun and well their names just say it all. The Indian coconut nectar smells warm and toasty like fresh toasted coconut and delicate vanilla. It just smells very exotic. I also saw that they make a body butter in this scent, so if you like layering your scents, this would be a good one and it would just last even longer. Hawaiian Ruby Guava is super tropical and smells like sweet juicy guava and citrusy pomelos. These are just so yummy and if you want to be unapologetic about being excited that summer is here then these are definitely for you. My favorite summer scent of all time are from the Erin line. Erin Lauder is the granddaughter of Estee Lauder and she is the owner of her own luxury lifestyle brand and these Erin perfumes, this collection is part of that brand. I saw these at Neiman Marcus and first of all, their perfume display is gorgeous. The full-size bottles look just like these little ones and the stones at the top are all different colors based on the scent and I, would, I just want to collect all of them. They're so pretty, but of course these are very expensive. I think the full-size bottles start at around 130 and go up from there. So I'm just sampling a few to decide which one I'll purchase the full size of someday. The entire Erin line has a wide variety of scents from very, very floral to fresh and clean to sweet and light. I think I've smelled all of them at Neiman Marcus. I've just been testing them every time I go there. But these are the three that I've been really trying from my little sampler set, and I think these are the best for summer. Mediterranean Honeysuckle is my personal favorite of all that I've ever tested there. I love the bright blue stone on top, and if it reminds you of Greece, that is exactly what this perfume is meant to do. This smells like honeysuckle, grapefruit, Italian bergamot, mandarin oil, lily of the valley, and gardenia. It sounds like a hot mess in there, but trust me, it smells really good. It's really floral, yet it has a citrus vibe and it's just not overpowering. But summer is all about florals, so if you love floral scents and you're wanting a new one for summer, the next two are for you. Hibiscus Palm has this gorgeous deep peachy coral stone on top, and I would describe this as a powdery floral scent. The notes are lotus flower, hibiscus palm, and coconut milk and it definitely smells like a lush tropical island 
without being too in your face about it. To offset the floral scent, there is a slight vanilla musk in the background. Lilac Path, also from the Erin line, has a pretty light pink stone on the top. I just want to mention that these aren't real stones. They are just made to look like them. They're made of plastic, I think, but they're still really pretty and really elegant. Lilac Path smells like delicate lilac petals, jasmine, and orange flower. This is just a really crisp and delicate floral scent. I would call this very pure in florals, and it's just a really beautiful scent. So, I want to know what is your go-to summer scent? Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to try a few new ones. I did a summer tablescape if you're wanting more summer inspiration, make sure to check that video out. I will link it in the description box below this video. And please consider subscribing if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.